Oh my gosh, Ubisoft, what are you doing? There is a new Ubisoft game that's about to come out. It's a pirate game where you don't get a chance to be a very good pirate. It feels like everything Ubisoft has been releasing recently has been a catastrophic failure. I'm not sure what it is about this studio or this publisher, but it feels like they can't make anything even halfway decent. They have to shove everything filled with big maps that are boring, constant microtransactions, downloadable content that just sucks, Everything that Ubisoft has released for the last five years has been an utter catastrophe, except for maybe something like Assassin's Creed. Well, this game is something I feel like is about to cost them a lot of money when it completely bombs. But let's talk about the leaked gameplay for Skull and Bones. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here. Now, please, if you could do me a favor, I'm going to try and be very careful in this video not to show you too many of the leaks explicitly because Ubisoft is removing videos that show what I'm about to talk about. Now, so please just like this video and subscribe. Let's see if we can get this video to, I don't know, 2,000 likes. I don't know how videos work, but here we go. Skull and Bones Combat Fundamentals are a Disaster. This is a guy over on Xputer. His name is Tom Henderson. Tom Henderson talks a lot about different leaks. He gets a hold of stuff he's not supposed to know about, and typically he just instantly publishes it. Now, in this article, he does directly show some leaked details, screenshots, and gameplay. Now, I'm going to carefully edit around those because I don't want this video taken down, but I do want to talk about why you should be very, very cautious about anything Ubisoft is about to reveal about this game. So essentially what's happening is that this is a game called Skull and Bones. The major controversy about it is that while this was revealed a while ago, it does not have any player versus player combat on land. This is essentially going to be a big pirate game that allows you to level up, customize your boat, go on big journeys. But the biggest thing that kind of blows and feels low budget is that everything is one boat attacking another boat. Cannon fire, and that's pretty much it. The way that Skull and Bones is essentially going to work is much in the favor of something like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, or if you ever played Assassin's Creed Rogue. This is in fact some rogue gameplay I'm showing here that I recorded this morning. Now, that combat on its own was exceptionally fun. I think a lot of people look back very, very fondly, especially on stuff like Black Flag, because it was cool to collect pirate shanties and have your ship and crew singing songs as you're going into combat. The controls could also be very, very fun because it was cool to blow up people and see individual smithereens and splinters of these ships as they sink. I don't think that this combat was bad, even as old and as archaic as it was. I think it's aged incredibly well, but I do think that's part of the reason that people enjoyed Black Flag is that this was just half of the experience. You'd have these big, epic, grandiose freaking fights on the ocean, and then you docked and still got to be an assassin. You still got to take down targets. You still got a chance to be the other half of this world. Skull and Bones has literally none of that. The only time you're ever going to be leaving your boat, and I've watched every second of leaked footage before Ubisoft just Thanos snapped it off the internet, the only time you leave your boat is to pick up quests and to talk to vendors to upgrade your boat. This is a boat only game. Now here's the problem. Ubisoft is claiming this is a quadruple A experience. More than triple A, they're saying that this is going to be their major flagship project for 2022, and it downright sucks. The author here points out that perhaps the most absurd aspect of this game is that you truly cannot do anything fun outside of your boats. This is purely naval combat and zero other content. Even if you're trying to do things like collect materials, you simply sail your boat close to shore and click a harvest button. If you try and do stuff like looting settlements or taking over forts, again, you park your ship nearby, you fire your cannons, and then your crew does the rating for you. It, it does almost have that vibe of a mobile game where you just click a button and there's just a loading screen that says, okay, the fun begins in an hour or something like that. You don't get a chance to participate in the violence. You click a button that says press X for violence. But what's funny is that they are trying to create depth with this. There's a bunch of leaks inside this to talk about. The major meta is the fact that because it is just ship to ship combat, 
They have all these different styles of different things. You can have small, medium, or large boats, things that are going to be cargo, combat, or exploration. So cargo ships are able to carry more of the stuff you're going to be looting. Combat ships are able to take and deal more damage. Exploration ships are more fast. And the whole idea of it inside of this, because I've watched a lot, is that you're trying to become the pirate king, essentially. You're trying to just like go around, defeat other people, get reputation, and rank up. But this is purely a player versus player experience. This seems like it's going to be heavily built upon the backs of the community. The people are going to be holding this up to make it as good or as bad as it needs to be. They even talk about the fact that the bread and butter of the game is meant to be the ship combat, where players can fight against each other as well as NPC ships. But for the most part, it just seems like nobody is having fun. I've watched so much of this game now because alpha testers are posting it as a giant warning not to play this game. And pretty much everybody who's been playing it has said that it seems like a completely bare bones and empty experience. Everything needs to be multifaceted at this point. You can't just be one style of thing. Like some people have described this as a very crappy free to play pirate Fortnite. It's a battle royale of boats, but the problem is that Nobody wants that. Sometimes I feel like the best games create a genre. Being able to create something that's new and different and funny and epic is nice, but I don't care about this. Like, it, it, this feels like the worst copycat of something like Sea of Thieves, except that Sea of Thieves had charm and community and cuteness and very cool systems to it. Like, Sea of Thieves let you get off the freaking boat and hunt treasure with your friends and make up your own great stories. This feels like it's going to be a very limited, very crappy budget experience. With so much gameplay leaking of it, I have a feeling it's going to be shown very, very soon. I have a feeling they may just even surprise drop it, just straight up say, here's the game, go buy it, what are you going to do? Because at this point, it's clearly done. Like, the gameplay I've seen is full dialogue, full options, full sound effects, full music, full explosions. It's It's done. They just need to probably bug test it and push it out the door so that Ubisoft can finally be bought. Ubisoft a couple years ago talked about the fact that they were tired of making sequels. They wanted to make franchises. That's what they're trying to do with stuff like Watch Dogs and For Honor and Skull and Bones. These are supposed to be eternal franchises. Big, huge projects that are going to make money forever. But... I don't know who's even going to buy this up front. If you don't give this away, if this isn't some sort of free-to-play experience, you're not going to have enough player numbers to get this going at all. But maybe I'm wrong. I guess we're going to find out. Sometimes leaked gameplay can look incredibly bad, but the project's going to be better. But as it currently stands, if I can't get off my boat and go, you know, touch some goofy pirate booty... I don't get... I don't, I don't see the appeal. I don't see this even selling 10 copies. Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below, though. What do you think about Ubisoft? What do you think about Skull and Bones? And are you excited for pirates? Yar! Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a giant thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. Check out my shirt, by the way. Look at this. Y'all know they live. Look at this. Yeah. Culture. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.